Life is what you bake of it. And to make your life a little more magical, today's video is how to make baker's fairy dust, also known as diastatic mold. If you want to add a touch of natural sweetness to your bread, along with a browner crust and glossy sheen, mold powder could be that magic ingredient you've been looking for. It can also be used to add color and flavor to cookies, bagels, granola sauces and gravies. You can make malt from any grain that will sprout, and my personal favorite grain to go to are wheat and rye. First step is to rinse your grain under cold water, then soak it for the next 6 to 8 hours, filling bowl with the cold water about an inch over your grain. We use cooler temperatures to mimic spring and to maximize enzyme development. To increase germination rate, in the last two hours, add hydrogen peroxide to your soaking water. I'm including chart. First, premix water and hydrogen peroxide in a separate bowl. Then change your soaking water. Extra hydrogen will kill any pathogen and nourish our future sprouts with extra oxygen. As you can see, all that grains have floated to the top. After 6 or 8 hours of total soaking time, strain your grain and place it on a tray to sprout for the next 2 or 3 days. It is better to sprout at the cooler temperatures to mimic spring, between plus 4 to 16 Celsius or 40 to 60 Fahrenheit. Cover your grain with a wet paper towel or cloth and once or twice a day aerate it and add some water if necessary because grain should be moist but not submerged in water and sprouts should smell like a fresh cucumbers and should maintain that smell throughout the whole sprouting process. Stop sprouting when sprouts are half the length of the grain. Next step is to air dry sprouted grain at the room temperature for about 24 hours on a towel or any fabric you have. It is important to lose remaining moisture before placing sprouts in the oven to prevent enzymes from getting cooked. During air drying time, sprouts will continue to grow to the full length of the grain. Make sure sprouts don't get much longer than that. If they have turned green, you have sprouted them for too long and you can feed them now to your compost and start over again. Next step is to dry our sprouts in the oven at the lowest baking temperature of 80 Celsius or 176 Fahrenheit. Drying can take a day or two. To speed up the process, stick a wooden spoon in the oven door to make a small opening for the moisture to escape. Remember, we are drying sprouts, not baking them. Have your oven on for a few hours in the morning and evening and turn it off when you're not at home. To know if your grain is dry, just taste it. When you bite into it and it snaps, it's ready. Our final task is to remove dehydrated sprouts because they taste bitter and we have no use for them. You can feed them to your compost or garden. Take a few spoons of dried grains at a time, rub them in a sieve with that spoon to remove dried up sprouted parts and place your freshly made diastatic mold in a storage container of your choice. You can store it at room temperature for about a year. Enzymes present in a diastatic mold powder Break down starches and proteins in the dough, making them into sugars that can be used to feed yeast. In baking, you only need to use about 1% of flour weight. If you use more, active enzymes will consume gluten in the flour, collapsing your bread structure. Using right amount will improve texture, smell, color, and prolong shelf life of your baked goods. 
Make a note on your container for your records. Dehydrated sprouts are excellent for compost. To make diastatic mold powder for baking, simply grind or mill your molted grains and store it in the container at the room temperature. Diastatic mold is a well-kept secret of artisan bread bakers. It is rich with minerals and enzymes that act as a natural preservative and boost the nutritional value of breads. Reaction of mold with yeast and flour enhances texture, size, appearance, and flavor of your bread. If you compost for your garden, due to present enzymes, diastatic mold is an excellent compost accelerator. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Until next time at Rye Avenue.